Uranium 2017, finally the top pick for the year. Thorsten, welcome again and uh, let's talk about uranium like a uranium special. I mean, it was the worst performing yeah, metal, I would call it, last year. What happened? Yeah, when we look at the energy price trends for last year, we see uh, that uh, after the initial shock of $26 on crude oil prices, uh, that the energy sector in terms of crude about its product on the petroleum side, but also net gas followed a positive price trend. And our view that we see like a bottom of uh, prices also for uranium uh, became not true because uh, uranium uh, next to US coal uh, dropped dramatically and lost more than 40% over the year and uh, looks uh, after it bottomed out uh, in the beginning of this year. Mm -hmm. So the big question is for investors, of course, are we at the bottom now? I mean, we saw a move from 18 to $24 within whatever, two or three weeks, which is sensational. Um, but as the chart implies here, are we at the bottom now? So is it maybe wise to consider investments? Why is it a, why is this a uh, point when you see uranium as a special topic uh, also on the commodity side? It's a very small market, so therefore it's a speculative niche. But it's a, a, a niche with uh, solid fundamentals on the longer term. It's just a matter of timing. So in terms of timing, I confess we have been one year too early. Uh, posting uranium could be an interesting investment in 2016. Mm -hmm. And we see it now um, as the prices dropped uh, even below uh, $20, what you see here in the low, even uh, below 18 US dollars. Dollar, but we see this as a freak uh, event in terms of prices because of the medium to longer term uranium prices uh, in terms of producer um, uh, costs and also contract pr uh, prices we see is more in the range about 40 US dollar. So therefore medium to longer term prices below uh, 30, 35 are not sustainable. So therefore we see uh, for 17 but also looking into 18, 19 uh, uranium prices that uh, can gain massively. Mm -hmm. But I think also from the supply demand side, it's getting interesting because Casatom yesterday said they want to cut by 10% their production. So is this maybe like a yeah, starting point? Yeah, Kazakhstan uh, news uh, was a big headline uh, in the market. 10% um, of their production because of low prices um, is um, represents about 3% of uh, global market supply in mm -hmm. uh, yellow cake, in uranium. So therefore, uh, if you see uh, this reduction, uh, the market price of uranium in the spot market, not very representative for the overall market, but the spot market initially reacted. Prices came up from 18 to 20, 22 uh, and touched uh, uh, briefly uh, $24. So massively in terms of percentage wise, also the mines getting out of this uh, punished zone about the penalty box for, for the mining sector. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, a big producer like a Cameco gained uh, from uh, $8.59 can dollar, uh, back to 12 in an instant. Wow, that's a nice move, honestly. <laughs> so as you just mentioned, Cameco, what is then, yeah, what, what, what choices do investors have and what would you take? You wrote it, participation, production or exploration or even something in between. Uh, exactly. When you see something in between, for example, like an uh, exchange rate fund, an ETF, mm -hmm. uh, um, they have it all. Um, but we also have like the good companies and the bad companies. Yeah. So if you do some work, you see that, for example, in the commodity producer universe, there are um, explorations, developers who have already like a, an eight to tenfold uh, development, which you see here, for example, is next gen. Uh, therefore, we consider their calculations and their reserve requirement. It's uh, rather expensive, but also other um, exploration companies like, for example, Fission, uh, near-term producers, uh, or smaller producers, or like the big guy in the house. The UEC, for example, is a great story to that. Yeah, and compared to, yeah. to, to these levels, uh, mm -hmm. definitely. And even after 30 to 40% price performance, you see here in the longer term picture, uh, but, we are still, but we are still massively undervalued in regard to, to uranium prices. So therefore, the choice participation, producing or exploration means you can buy, for example, a uranium participation note, that is a company shell investing in physical uranium. So therefore, you have like a one-to-one -to, -one to uranium prices. And we consider that uranium prices this year can move back to like a 40, 45 uh, level, mm -hmm. a longer term even to a $60 uh, dollar level. As we see from the demand side, uh, demand is increasing, mm -hmm. demand is coming back. Yeah, especially uh, China, is, I think every third month there is one nuclear power plant going online, right? 
exactly short term. It's a bit tricky because US is reducing capacity. Uh, China is increasing capacity. Mm -hmm. um, India, some question mark on that, but also yeah. growing. Yeah, and Japan, uh, the big uh, question mark, it is slowly coming back. So therefore, the supply side is the one side. Demand side definitely is positive. And supply side with the Kazakhs moving back out of production at this level uh, means we have like a, a, a gap developing. And probably 2016 can be the turning year that you see the supply demand balance from an oversupplied market to a deficit market. Mm -hmm. This would speak to more like 60 to 80 US dollars for uranium during the next two to three years. Wow, that would be sensational for the underlying stocks. For example, developers, <laughs> yeah. uh, companies who sit on uh, nice reserves who can sell to big companies without getting it into production uh, would have a multiple uh, that is like uh, probably four to five times current stock prices. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Thorsten, thank you very much. I'm bullish too. And I like your view. <laughs> thank you very much for that. Pleasure. Thank you, Jochen. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was Dr. Thorsten Lien, the chief strategist of uh, Tiberius out of Zug. And yeah, there was a uranium special and he is very positive now on uranium. As we saw the move from 18 to 22, 24 dollars already now, uh, this year 2017 in the start. And yeah, what to consider? Participation producers, explorers or developers. That's up to your choice, but we are very positive too. So thanks for watching us. I'm your host, Jochen Steiger, Commodity TV in partnership with Dukas Kobi TV. Thanks and bye-bye from Geneva.